I don't know, be silent for for five minutes. I don't know. I've I've got Hold some. On. I'm get I'm gonna make uh, my character stare straight into your eye sockets. <laughs> All I'm seeing is the back of your character's head. <laughs> on my stream, I'm facing you. Yeah, I've, I've got my camera looking at me. All right. Now, I've got basically no lyrics saved to my phone. Headphones on, so basically tone deaf. So I don't think I'm going to serenade whoever watches this. Eh, turning my phone's Wi-Fi back on. I'm browsing Facebook. Maybe a friend of mine's posted a funny meme. I don't know. Ah, oh, notifications! Okay, the notifications cleared. Thank fuck. Bitch, who the fuck is insulting Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper is much better than barbecue water. Ah, that's someone in the hall is dressed like a prison bitch. I've got a musket you can blow. No, my. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> George Takai on helium, I guess. Dude, I'd love to hear George Takai on helium. But first, I've got to tear myself away from Facebook. Oh, that's oh, that's an adorable cat. What the? Oh, oh wait, never mind. That's ah, uh, these are all posts I've already fucking seen. This isn't. This is boring. Okay. Well, it makes it easier to tear yourself away, right? Yeah. The next, the next problem would have been opening Reddit for memes. I never would have been able to tear myself away from that. <laughs> now my face is no I'm longer buried certain... in your invisible tits. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm fairly certain I'm wearing a skeleton. Evidently these torches were on, but they didn't have any fire on my screen, so I had to turn them off and back on. Hmm. See here. Uh, I was about to ask why this dude had the glowing thing over his head, then I remembered he's permanently clear-minded. <laughs> he and is also, permanently calm. <laughs> and until also, we fuck I, him up. Yeah, I don't, yeah, piss yeah. him off. Yeah, I don't think I streamed that, but uh, post-stream shenanigans, Danny and I decided, hey, let's aggro this guy. It did not turn out well. I mean, look at those fucking <laughs> stats, all right? 695 physical armor, 3,917 health, and, and 1,738 fucking magic armor. We could and then, not... although he doesn't have, he doesn't have any uh, complete resistances, however, his resistances are 2 at 80, 2 at 60... And one at 40. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm reading this shit. Fucking walk it off. Yeah. Uh, savage Sortilage. Level... Level 20. Fucking... Fucking hell, just his... His core stats alone. Like, 38 strength and finesse. 50 intelligence. 40 constitution. Like... I'm not sure why, oh, but he keeps getting leader in sight as well. Because you're near, he's counted as an ally. Anyways, let's see. Mm. Uh, 45 memory, 43 wits. Dude, towards me. No chance to block, 90% chance to hit. Fucking hell. Uh, 
684 to 795 damage, 10 pyrokinetic, fucking beast. Share all your lore at once or not at all. Uh, 10 Hydrosophist, 10 Aerotherge, 10 Geomancer, 6 Necromancer. Like, this dude can and will destroy you. I feel like he was just, like, constantly just pointing out things over your shoulder. Yeah, basically. <laughs> except, he's, except he's not even half your height, but I think he kept doing that because he was walking in and out of the leader in sight range. <laughs> he literally turned around just to knock you out of that. I opened this door. <laughs> now he'll get pissed if we close it. <laughs> that sounds backwards, doesn't it, though? Yeah, don't don't worry. I I've got this. I feel like I would find it funny if the demons just like warned him whenever. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? They think that if they uh, warn him about someone stealing his shit, he, they might uh, get released. Possibly. Anyways, I titled, any... yeah, I titled the stream D and D Shizzle. We need to work on that, and of course, the, the actual story. Anyways, what were you saying? Anyways, I put a marker on the map. Yeah, I was wondering when that got there. <laughs> Just now, but anyways. Oh, that's that far is, away. Uh, that is where the bridge is to get into the, uh, I mean, get onto the island. If you want to go ahead and do that. Alright, any, any XP on the way? Uh, there's one thing that's relatively close to that, but, uh, but in fact we... Had trouble with the guard with the uh, elemental guardians. We would not fare well against that thing. All right, it's a mini boss that blows the uh, lava scarecrow out of the water. Hmm. All right. Is there any easier experience that we've missed? Uh. Because I feel like we maybe should... uh, maybe down uh, in. Uh, down at marker G at the uh, uh, graveyard all right near stone garden oh I think I just realized something we also near stone garden yeah we didn't complete a quest that we had almost completely done all right let's see yeah so your seizure advocate, Garen, uh, no, no. Oh, uh, there's one thing that we need to, now that we've defeated uh, Mortis, we can report back to Lohar as well. All right. Where is he? Oh, and there's a quest to save the other cow. Mm -hmm. If you remember. Uh, yeah, uh, Danger to herself and others is a quest that we didn't quite finish. Conquer Murga, that the, the Driftwood Arena one, that gets glitched out. We already did, otherwise we wouldn't be standing here. Oh yeah. Imagine if it hadn't teleported us back out though, if we were just stuck down there. <laughs> Anyway, so since Lohar is back in Driftwood, we might as well just go. Boop. Many a latest, my friend. The war, the bishop, the queen. What tickles your fancy? Seven sailors. Stabbed in the back he was by them vile, low-born, treacherous seekers. Oi! <laughs> hey, the seekers are innocent. We did it. <laughs> Do them like Magister Raymond did, old Lady Seaver. That'll teach them traitors. Just realized I need to turn my TV down a little bit. You know, here's one thing, though. 
I'm fairly certain they use reference someone that we saved, but I'm not certain. Oh yeah, uh, the Meister? Uh, I don't think her name is, uh, uh Siva though, is she? Uh, it could be. I mean, they doomed us all, didn't they? The son of the divine is dead, gone. Who'll save us now? I think you'll find that he's rather prone to ignoring death. Yeah. Tommy Justinia, Queen of the Dwarves. Ha! Skirt. Fuck, I'm offline again. Here's twenty or so noble gentlemen. No one knows what they did wrong, if anything. And she hasn't stripped and whipped all the way to the execution grounds. Didn't even give him the dignity of a sword. No man. Had them all up. Real slow like. You ask me, and I say she's mad as a mink with his tail on fire. Queen or no queen. Uh, this next one will be of interest to three out of four people in the group. <laughs> Figured you'd ask me about that. Ain't looking too good for you, lizards. Word is, the Divine Order's gonna hit your empire and hit it hard. And all because, uh, uh, and all because the lizards refuse to hand over every single sorcerer they found. You remember what happened to the elves, don't you? Ain't no one left standing when you treat bar from home, and no mistake. You know, I hope that this guy does realize that uh, I have a spiked knee perfect tight to him in the dick. Yeah. Because he just claimed that a empire that has uh, that Tell literally. Once, uh, I'm trying I mean, to show off your spike knee. From... Oh, sorry. That literally, uh, I don't have spike knees shown here. They're more just a flat plate, as far as that goes. Yeah, but that'd still hurt. Yeah. Take it, take but it from a guy anyway. who's pissed off too many benches in his day. <laughs> Anyways, though, um, the. Uh, Thing is, though, the ancient empire has survived. It's li literally the called the ancient empire because it's the most ancient form of government, to my knowledge, in divinity. Yeah. It's been around a while, is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, Papa Thrash, Papa No No, you no go. Yay references I don't get. Yay references you laughed about once. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Dude, my short-term memory has been going down the fucking drain and I hate it. Mm. I'm just fucking with that guy. Anyways, go Yay. talk to Lohar since you're the one that talked to him. Lohar! Wait, that's Marla. <laughs> oh yes, this? the check is totally okay, Lohar. This is Lohar. Yeah. At least bristles the moment he sees his fellow dwarf and slams his right fist into his left palm, growling all the while. Uh, this is gonna get violent. So one thing though. Scheming bastard, death fog. Give me one good reason I shouldn't split both your heads in two. Here's one thing though before you continue. I feel like my character also disapproves of Death Fog because she almost looks like she's ready to punt the dwarf. <laughs> Nobody punts a dwarf! <laughs> punt me! I cannot jump the distance! <laughs> Yo, I'm just imagining fucking Vigo Mortensen just straight punting fucking John Reese Davies right now, and it's glorious. <laughs> I'd love to see that shit. I guess. Let, let me see just how tall they are in real life, because I know they were doing forced perspective and shit in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Just like he's even smaller in real life than he's in real Alright, Ted. John. Reese. Davies. Height. <laughs> Six foot one. Fucking Gimli was six foot one. 
<laughs> well, he's taller than me. About as tall as I am. Uh, Vigo Mortensen, mm -hmm. five foot eleven. The fucking dwarf is taller than Strider. Holy shit, that <laughs> is <laughs> bass backwards. Because Strider was hey, like let's... six foot five. Let's continue. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> then it's just my character here in Divinity, just uh... seven foot <laughs> or taller. I think it's more closer to eight. Yeah, because humans can be up to seven foot to, at times, depending on genetics and all. Oh, fuck, but... who was it? I can't remember name. I think it was like Kareem Abdul Jabbar was like eight foot four or something like that. Mm -hmm. Calm your jaw. It's like this. I didn't sign up to move Death Fog. Other weapons, even soul forged weapons, sure. Ooh. But Death Fog, absolutely not. Soul forged sounds badass. <laughs> Got any lore on those? Uh, not off the top of my head. Mm. When we found the bomb on Her Majesty's ship, I was told to ship it to Arx along with the rest of the stuff. But I couldn't. Mordor's disagreed, obviously. But thanks to you, he's dead. You need to get to Arx as quickly as possible. That's where she's planning to use it. There'll be a wedding in full swing by the time you arrive. A girl named Isla and some do-nothing type. Oh, uh, he's about to give us one, though. If anyone knows oh, so forged Queen weapon? Is him. Mm -hmm. Mikhail Ross is his name. Ooh. Tell him I sent you. I pray it ain't too late. But there is, if I remember right on that island, there is a specialized soul forge. Oh, nice. Death hey, rock. beast Nasty stuff. Dog. Overkill for a bunch of scattered rebels, though. Just then, you stupid lower than even I thought possible. I do B personally, but yeah. But B could be covered by C. Yeah. <laughs> Besides that mad scientist at our side, uh, hard to say. His bill pulls the queen's strings. No idea who pulls hers. All I know is that we don't want Death Fog catching a ride on the Roaring Ark's winds. Long as that stuff's around, no one's safe. Hmm. I just noticed the giant Druidna bush. Uh, I think that's Druidna, yeah. Head. Right here. Nothing to mess with. <laughs> that bush flower. Yep, beast See, what does that shit? Say. That shit looks fleshy as shit. Damn it, Umbrella. <clears throat> All that matters now is getting to Arx and stopping that bomb. Lives are at stake. Uh, that appears to be all. Oh, hold up. No one will ever know. <laughs> I think I might be able to... Oh. There we go. <laughs> yes. Hmm. That door locked? No, it's not, but they get angry if you open it and they constantly have a sight on it. Mm. And through it. Uh, did he give you the weapon? No. Mm. Let's see. That's right. Lost one of my best lads, Anhar. Didn't get Jalia's body back, though. Maybe one of them beasts took her like they did the sorcerers. Bloody lad. Flapping his gums in the next life, too. That's another little venture of ours. Don't concern you, though. Let's... Well, I reckon that's good news, P poor thing. She'll be back in time. She and Anhar were sweethearts. We will, once the Reds turn down the alarm a bit. They're jumpy as all hell for the moment. Won't do anyone any good to raise a ruckus now. 
Well, he probably has enough people to take over the city. I mean, there's not very many reds left. Yeah. At least in the city. Yeah. Whatever needs doing. Isn't that obvious? Uh, it said that when you complete the Morris quest, he's supposed to give you a Soul Forge weapon. Hmm. On the wiki, when I looked it up there for there a second ago. Well, that's a weird laugh. Think those fingers of yours will ever heal. I'd say that those fingers of hers are probably not getting healed because once they get what they want out of her, they're probably going to kill her for betrayal. Yeah. In all honesty. And instantly slowed. Or at least the Red Prince was. I saw a man should walk through that door without getting slowed. Oh, the Red Prince fucking did it. Guess who's uh standing in the table again on my screen? Yeah, he's there for me too. Always <laughs> rises. <laughs> Wait. Until you use a table. <laughs> I didn't know that this guy was a magician either. Me as well. I'm willing to put up with the uh, insults to our people who t just to watch this dwarf inside the table. That's a good show. <laughs> oh yo, I, can, I, can, I, I told my dad to just go ahead and cook his TV dinner first. But mm. holy fuck, I can smell the chicken and now I'm hungry. I'm, I'm sticking it yeah. out though, we're, we're going through this shit. I forgot about her for a second. And I also forgot that this uh, bridge was out. Hold on. Is this That's the bridge? Chain Lightning, where is it? Uh, no, this is not the bridge to the island. This is just one that leads out of town. Retribution. All right. Anyways. <laughs> I used the uh. Uh. Forgot you had that. Teleportation triangle. You have one too. Yeah. Which means that you could do the same thing. Ah. Retribution. <laughs> I was just standing on Sir Laura real quick. Ah, yellow dot. It's most likely an animal, yep. Hey Sir <laughs> Laura, is this your cousin? Uh, just a generic <laughs> squirrel. He's... Oi, you there. I feel you like... a fucking knight of Drake. Get the fuck back here. You, hey. Stop bringing <laughs> the fucking Dre take on. Where the fuck did you get... There you are. The squirrel's cheeks are so distended with acorns. He's just harassing the fuck out of a random ass squirrel. What? I don't know why that was funny to me, but it was. The uh, squirrel's cheeks are so uh, distended with acorns, its mouth is stretched wide and a surprised looking O. Squeak. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you get back here. Just kidding. You, your feet to go. You didn't have anything interesting to see. After all, I don't even have pet pal. <laughs> um, all I know though is that the Red Prince has got eyes on his back. <laughs> Ain't no one sneaking up on him. Oh yeah. The eyes are sideways though, so it's a little weird. Oh yeah, we got Lord this right for the blood god. I need to play <laughs> some. Yeah. I need, dude. I need to get a a Warhammer game because I hear they're I hear they're great. But I just don't know where to start with this franchise. Yeah. Watch out for the traps. Oh yes. 
paladins, the famous they divine doing? protectors so of arcs. I wonder what they're doing here, so far from home. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> you just copy what my character said and put more uh, emphasis on pitches. <laughs> That's literally all you did. <laughs> I like to articulate. I think it's more your accent versus mine that does that. My character just said it twice instead of you saying it once. <laughs> I only got your character saying it. Ow! I didn't like, see it. <laughs> like I said, my character said it twice instead of you saying it as well. Yeah, I only got your character saying it once. Hmm. Let's see, uh... Oh yeah, I, uh... I put a marker on Regarius Swan so that uh, we could finish that quest real, real quick and get the experience that I think we missed. Oh yeah, ambush. <laughs> Shadow Sniper. Tone it the fuck down, Edgelord. <laughs> no I like how there's just a random dead person here, though. What? There's just this random dead lizard woman here. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, so... How should I get you to reveal yourself? Uh, with the explosive force of a thousand suns. <laughs> this is the closest I got to a thousand suns. <laughs> just a, a light, warm breeze. <clears throat> I also have a taser. Ooh. Ow. Hello. Oh, you're really doing that, laddie. Or last. Thing is, tell. I don't think that they're moving after. Yeah, I doubt so. they have the AP. I doubt they have the AP to do it, but oh fuck, out of range path into. Oh, oh, oh. It's a risk, <laughs> oh, but I could hit. Oh. <laughs> it's a risk, but I could hit one. Or I could just... Oh, I could... I might be able to take this person out. Hang on. How much damage does this deal? Oh, yeah, I can take him out. Good night. Kamehameha. <laughs> Anyways, I think that since Searing Daggers has an arc, I could... Oh. I can throw some fire up there, but as to whether it hits the person up there or not is an entirely different deal. And I don't know where there's the another one can. of them as well. Yeah, that's nice. I think two of them spawn up here, and then there's one of them that's down here with us, so he's just cloaked. Show yourself. Yep. To, to quote a fellow edgelord, uh, this shadow assassin fails to realize that we're down here with them, he's down here with us. <laughs> the fuck are you doing, Red Prince? Why are you hitting them in the in the thigh with your tail? <laughs> you into him? <laughs> I feel like if someone were to ask the Red Prince that, he would that would be his reply just simply because he was asked that. <laughs> What would? Uh, to kill the person immediately. Ah. Oh, that are. They should have to barely to make that. this person move. Ow! Uh, evidently, there's still two more. You're really gonna do me like that, you bitch. Oh, you done <laughs> fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of magic damage you can do with them. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What can Beast do with, uh... Ah, oh, that's physical. This one's magic. Funny, oh, but... funny thing is, is that Beast can't actually see her right now. There he goes. Yeah, at the he... angle that he was at on my screen, his blink me as a patch, me as you couldn't see her. Mm. I almost said blindfold, but... 
turned her into a statue and then poisoned the statue. Okay. Diseased the statue. Hmm. When she gets out of this, she's gonna have cancer. <laughs> she's gonna have a rocky tumor. Yeah. She don't have cancer. She got bolder. Smack. Unpetrified, but now I'm diseased. <laughs> 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 she's like, she's vomiting onto your tail, and you're just, ugh. Hey, you there, quit <laughs> biting my ass. I ain't that fucking into ya, bitch. Kinky. <laughs> I said, ain't that fucking into ya, get lasered. Okay, maybe a little overkill, but whatever. <laughs> you set the air on fire. Just, just a little overkill. Alright, any other devastating spells? Well, I guess this one would count as devastating. Uh, might light you on fire, but... Uh, they got magic armor? Yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. You know, just to add insult to injury? <laughs> I just love this, yeah. like, tinkle of, of glass breaking. Like, you just beamed them over the head with a fucking bottle full, full of chloroform. It deals no yeah. damage. Like, it deals no damage, but you just fucking straight up lobbed a potion at him, basically. Yes. Now, anyways, let's see, how much health do they have left? 222? Two, two, two. Triple C. Oh, you thought that I got rid of the fire that was on you. Well, I'll just put it right back for you. Anyways, let's see... Let's see what Butt Munch over here has in her inventory. If I can find her corpse. Usually nothing. Where the fuck is the corpse? Uh, she has she has a tiny bit of gold. And a tooth. <laughs> Yoink. Anyways. So we should have unlocked a little bit new dialogue for him with this. I think. Yep. Gods know. Though they are a nuisance. Believe me, a prince of the House of War survives his first attempts at assassination in the crib. His mother is not so much his keeper as his bodyguard. I just got an image in my head of... His mother like rocking him in the crib as uh, she's she's just got like a torch, I mean, not a torch, uh, a uh, sword in the other hand. So, uh, <clears throat> have you have you seen uh, Hellboy, the one with Ron Perlman that came out in the nineties? I think I think I've seen parts of it at least. Uh, have you, did you see the part where he was holding a box of kittens while fighting off a hellhound? No. Oh, that's kind of what I imagined basically. <laughs> Just, like, not even using the hands because of that, just holding the baby by the hand me with her hands and just kicking the shit out of the assassins. Though I must admit these fellows are rather tenacious. Do you tire of their attempts? Like how you could just go, nah, they're pushovers, or <laughs> just completely blow it out of proportion. The best these things these guys have been so far is experience. Yeah. Precisely. And it's precisely this sort of understanding that makes me appreciate our journey together. Y you'd think for the legendary House of Shadows, their assassins would be much better. <laughs> They're just sending the weak ones after us because they you can't afford to send anyone who can who they actually need. <laughs> They're like. I mean, we would, but if they do manage to kill this assassin, we're kind of going to be out and ace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite a novel thing for me, this together concept. How about yourself? How lucky you are, then, to have my exalted companionship in your party. 
I'm in rather good spirits after that invigorating fight, so I think I'll return the compliment. It's good to have you around. And that is evidence that he's starting to come on to my character slightly. <laughs> Oh, yes, I mean, it's just, just something the... that happens at, at this point, but uh, if you uh, sit here and talk to the characters enough, then they will start to come on to you. Yeah, and I noticed with Not much with, of another lover, with another, with another character, the... I was just straight up flirting with Ifen. Mm -hmm. Like, not even fucking subtly, either. Here's one thing, though. I flirted hardcore with him, and then I'm like, oh, no, 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 I don't want a relationship with you, sorry, Ethan. He's... Okay. <laughs> yeah, but the th but my favorite thing about... about just flirting with Ethan is it was just, like, another one of those generic uh, do you travel on the road with companions or alone? Just kind of like, are you a lone wolf kind of deals. It was just like, I like to like... travel with other people, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. And then he just fucking blushes and wanders off. <laughs> like, that is fucking me in a nutshell. Unusual skeleton. I'd say it's unusual. It's buried with its ass in the air. <laughs> What's funny is that you actually just sit there and poke and prod at its belt for a while, too. Yeah. Not sure why there's point. Oh, as <laughs> I cut myself off because I'm like, oh yeah, you healed yourself there. Oh yeah, I think I remember this place. Yes, this is the place that uh, I had tried to change up my stats, but ended up not having to. Turns out I'm apparently a healer all on my own. Yeah. Oh look, he moved her to a bed. She's awake. The magisters arrested me in Ox for sorcery. They strapped me to a table, and uh, and they put something in my head, something alive. They put me on a caravan bound for Fort Joy. They said I was going to become a pet for the hammer. I could feel myself changing. I tore off the shackles that held me, like they were parchment. I remember hearing screams, feeling the blood of others on my hands, in my mouth. Then I ran. That's one hell of a parasite they put in you then. And then I woke up yeah. here. I, I remember so seeing several, she does... several jars of mind maggots laying around. Yeah. Those are actually worth a decent amount of money, too, if I remember right. But anyways, here's one thing, though. Hmm. She remembered up to right before she got here, so she doesn't remember us kicking her ass and then healing her. <laughs> a spillage. Like, we literally oh, annihilated her. A spillage all over the floor. Sounds like a normal Tuesday night. Oh, my... You know, if I would have remembered that today was was Thursday, would have been better. If it were Friday, it would have been really fucking good. Oh hell no, he's a gone farmer. <laughs> Damn bit of straw in his mouth. He's a fucking so cowboy. Thinking about you recently? Still can't get over that trick you pulled off. She's doing well. You'll be glad to hear. Well on the mend. Natalie's her name, by the way. I've told her all about what you did for her. She'll be able to go home soon, as long as she stays clear of the Magisters. Evidently, though, I'm like a uh, medieval brain surgeon, though. Yeah. <laughs> Albeit, I'm like the last person you expect by the way I behave uh, in and off the battlefield. Yeah. yeah definitely wouldn't to expect it from real life. If you need healing or want to trade any goods, my door's always open. In real life, I know uh, basic things. Ooh, he's got some epic gear here. Ooh. Are you kidding me? It's, <laughs> it's considered a it's considered a crime if I use the torch on the other side of this wall. What the fuck? 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, gloves that have got uh, 56 magic armor, 12 physical, and they give plus 10 wire resistance, plus 1 telekinesis, and plus 2 uh, crits. And they're called bad fingers. I missed most of what you oh. said because I was reminiscing a time where I wasn't playing as a lizard and I stole somebody's shovel. You stole someone's shovel so that you could, uh, yeah. dig? Yeah. <laughs> it got away with it too. But then I deleted the save. Uh, how good are your, uh, how good are your gloves? Uh, equipment. Uh, 6 physical, 24 magic, 10% fire resist, 17 HP. I get something that you are really gonna like then. Yeah, right? Let's see, send a brat. Hmm. Groovy. Telekinesis, or not. Well, if you think about it, you never actually touch the damn thing. True. But with uh, telekinesis, doesn't it have like some sort of weird beam going going from you to Hello. the thing you're moving? Usually, yes. But it doesn't always show it, to my knowledge. I've spotted something. Oh yes, the second I walk into a graveyard. I, I heard that violin and I thought it was a fucking uh but in the human section of the graveyard, something's amiss. Hmm. Vilnix Kriva. Almost sounds like a lizard name. But here. So the reason why this is a thing is because uh, uh, lizards, uh, this is not how lizards bury themselves. I'm right, but I'll show you how lizards bury themselves. Because there's actually a burial pit for pretty much every race here. I don't think I found the elven one. Mm hmm. Cremation pyre. From fire to ash. From ember to flame. Yeah, it makes sense. Looks pretty badass, at least if you ask me, though. Yeah. My question is, what's with the electricity on these two? Uh, it's because of how they died. These were a uh, House of Shadow uh, people, by the way. Ah. A cremation pyre. From fire to ash, from ember to flame. Let's see, where's that leg? Seriously, where the fuck is that leg? Where'd it go? <laughs> I'm, like, I just imagine my uh, character's just furiously searching for it in uh, their backpack. Throw it into the fire. Poison flask. Nice. Now, if you don't mind, uh, move and uh, toss that over here. Thrice. Man. You think you could heal me, by the way? Uh, beast. Actually, never mind. Never mind. We have bedrolls. I just remembered. Oh yeah. Anyway, so this is a uh, this is a magically sealed chest, and the only way to open it is to talk to a ancient lizard speaking. Uh, well, it is a lizard, but it's not an actual lizard. Lizard. It's a. It's like a. It's a feral creature lizard that speaks in the ancient lizard tongue. Mm. And you he's, know, he, 
He's in the mansion that's back, uh, like, almost directly behind my character. You can't pick it. I can try, damn it. Oh yeah, you can try and persuade the jets to. <laughs> I'm gonna persuade this thing that his mother was a hamster. And his father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I suggest hope to see you return a little more draconic, mistress. But in any form, this chest is your eternal servant. Just has kind of got a cute voice. <laughs> Alright, let's see. There's an unidentified wand in there that I'm going to leave in there. Uh, medium rock room, gold, and unidentified gloves. Alright, open that. Ooh, it's a legendary wand. I'll just identify you. It's most likely a poison by that glow it had. Uh glows green, but it's a water one. Plus one intelligence, <laughs> three initiative, uh, create an ice surface when targeting terrain, set suffocating for one turn, 10% chance to succeed, and plus 7% life steal. And then the gloves... That's a, pretty, that's a pretty good one, but it doesn't go with what you're doing currently. Oh no. Then the gloves, 25 physical, 16 magic, plus one thievery, and 30 hit points. Well, you might as well take those and nothing else just because it gives you more thievery. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh. Servant. Master to servant. Anyway, so I'm gonna walk over here. And by the way, I've just skipped a small part of uh, the Red Prince's questline because it doesn't give you XP and you can just come right here and ignore that little bit of conversation. Hmm. Oh, spirit of a dreamer. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it would be considered body language though. <laughs> if it doesn't have a body. I'm about to reach my hand through my fucking mic and slap you all the way from McPherson. I just got an image in my head of you just uh <laughs> You just, like, grab your parents' keys, drive all the way to Hutch, find which dorm <laughs> I live in, and just <laughs> bust down the door to slap me in the face. <laughs> you just go back home. I'd be breaking so many laws, because, dude, I don't even have a learner's permit. Yeah. Like, you're old enough to just go straight to the drivers. So. At least remember, right? You don't, and I don't think you necessarily have to go get a learner's first, if you're above the driver's age. Yeah, I, I don't know. The Red Prince addresses the lizard spirit. He turns out to be a dreamer, long dead, who speaks archaically and sings in a truly ancient tongue. Rav Mudong, Anan Aket, Vetu Duran. He's speaking a lot faster than his text would uh, reference. Yeah. Like a lullaby, the melody lulls them both to sleep until, with a start, the Red Prince wakes once more. So, I guess that's what a sleeping ghost looks like. Which, do you recognize this fucking helmet? Yes, I didn't realize until <laughs> now. Come the fuck on, why do wizards have have that fucking thing? He also has a uh, uh, chess piece that you had, too. Yeah. The gloves also look familiar. God damn it, this man stole my wardrobe. <laughs> well, you're not using it anymore. You might have just bought it from the person that it was sold off to. Or people. Bitch. And then he came here and died. <laughs> my word. Even I, not in my wildest, most demon lusting dreams could have guessed a destiny such as this stop fucking baffermet you fucking prick 
Okay. <laughs> Hey, he said demon lusting, and I named the only one that I could think of. Believe, and yet so ultimately, so undeniably true once told. Well, he, the demon he was fucking was a succubus. Eh. Baphomet might be able to shapeshift. I don't know. I'm not quite up to date on, on my demonology. <laughs> the race of lizards, all <clears throat> of us, we were dragons once. Great red dragons. You might have been red. Enter bitch. Smaug. <laughs> Enter Smaug. Yeah. I guess I I always chuckle slightly. I'm like, like that's just what I originally pictured them to look like for some reason. Just the movies, the uh, Hobbit movies version of Smaug. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll never understand why in the movie he's Smaug, but literally, but literally everywhere else Smog. Mm-hmm. It's actually, I think in the movie it was supposed to be Smaug, but one of the accents of the dwarves who said it was Smaug, so everyone just called him Smaug. Oh, it was supposed to be Smaug, but the dwarf said Smaug, so everyone just called him Smaug. Got it. You just said Smaug twice. Yeah, you said Smaug. I you said it. I, you I, meant to, <laughs> yeah. I meant to say Smaug the first time. But then yeah, but you said, said Smaug. I said Smaug. I'm <laughs> like. <laughs> Wait, that didn't sound right. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, eons ago, we withered. We shrank. Never more to be the majestic creatures we once were. Well, except for that uh, one guy we met on Fort Joy. Yeah. Until now. I don't know if I can grant us this fate. All I know is that I am to be the father of dragons, and she, the Red Princess, is to be the mother. Well, if a lizard becomes a uh, deity, I feel like they can uh, just make bam dragons, dragons again. Yeah, just, <laughs> just fucking Thanos snap them back into existence. Just, <laughs> just, just imagine that though. If it, they just, that's not. You want I dragons? Snap. My hands are wet. You want dragons? But bitch, dragon. <laughs> I just got an image in my head of, it's just a family of lizards just sitting around the table eating porridge or some shit, and just suddenly they turn into dragons. <laughs> like, they just, they're so massive that they just, like, break the house around them. Yeah. <laughs> like, the no. ancient, if everyone just spontaneously turned the into a dragon in the ancient empire, the whole thing would be All in my ruins. Life, I she was <laughs> yeah, just, like, I just she imagine, like, there's a whole bunch of them in close proximity, so they all just get flung away from her. each other. Yeah. To think she awaits me even now, no like, more than a walk away. Come, we must move north at once. Like, it's not even, like, a gradual transformation, it's just all at once. <laughs> like, a flash of light in their dragon. <laughs> yeah. And then just suddenly all the all the most certainly grand architecture of the ancient empire stood. Yeah. And of course every Especially other in the forbidden city, else. but Yeah. And then there's uh this though, the second one. You just wanna you just wanna fuck your lady clone, don't you, Prince? <laughs> Dying indeed. We mustn't forget the House of Shadows continues to hunt us. The dreamer I met only managed to elude them by escaping bodily into the dream realm, never to return. Um, here's one thing, though. So, it's true. just, uh, I would have found it funny, though, if uh, he just goes, dying indeed, and just suddenly stabs my character in the throat. Dying indeed. <laughs> like, just and out then of just, the wound. And then just uses, like, a god tier supernova. <laughs> Dying indeed. Being made in our nose, just fuck her. So just fucking Dr. Manhattan's dragon. everyone. I intend to prove worthy of these sacrifices. <laughs> the Red Prince turns to thank the spirit for its aid. The old soul concludes its melody, and with it, its stay upon this world. <laughs> Say, this guy doesn't look familiar at all. My point is, is that uh, it's a female lizard with a frill that is, it's basically the stock uh, uh, preset for a female lizard. Mm. <laughs> Just on fire and electricity. Yeah. Here lieth Haverly North and Child, 
struck down by a sorcerer fiend most vile. Oi. I'll have you know I'm a very respectable sorcerer, all right? Here lies old man Malik. No dancing on this grave. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same idea. I wish that there was an actual, uh... Time and the elements have left this grave marker illegible. I wish that there was an actual dance. <laughs> Yeah, dude, th there needs to be like an emote system in this game. Is he wearing a fucking Plague yep, Doctor mask? Dog. Yes. Oh, sick. Boof. Oh, hi! How are you? I'm good. Hey, do you smell that? It smells like the fish place, doesn't it? Like fish, only, uh, worse. Okay, bye! <laughs> <laughs> He's just like getting uh, nervous and then just keep by gone. Yeah. It's just me though. Do these things right here look like uh, shriekers? But they've been there so long that they've just died again. Yeah. They. Oh, we put up a bunch of sh shriekers around the. We, we put up a bunch of shriekers around this gravesite, but we for but we were forgot but we forgot they were there. It was a really hot summer as well. Oh, fucking Your really helmet looks you. so fucking weird <laughs> right now. I'm, I'm a motherfucking xenomorph queen. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, what I mean is that the little uh, the little uh, <laughs> fringe. Yeah, <laughs> it just did it for me. I think. <laughs> <laughs> what What's the this? fuck? I found something. Oh, hey. Perks of having a very high uh, wit, right? Or whatever it's called. Yep. <laughs> I did not mean to pick that up. Oh, there's a stick. Now, can I no, catch the one? Fuck it. What? I just ate a uh, rotten leg. All right, let's see. I Weapon. feel like my some. I feel like my character should be like just suddenly uh, going into convulsions on the ground and hurling everywhere. Oh, hey, I can I can make an improvised wand. What else can I make? Sharp stone on a stick. <laughs> Knives on sticks. That's the wrong frill. <laughs> Hang on. I'm making this wand. <laughs> this helmet just completely changes which frill I have. Yeah. What the fuck? Anyways, let's see. What wand did I make? Toggle in. A piece of shit one. <laughs> yeah, 14 to 16 poison as compared to 15 to 17 poison or 13 to 15 fire. But it doesn't have any special abilities to it. <clears throat> Here lies Theo Payne, fortune teller and visionary. He didn't see it coming. It, it really... Uh, it'll always piss me off the people that are like, Oh yeah, oh you're a fortune teller? Then what the fuck am I thinking? Bitch, that ain't how it works. What the fuck? I thought that was your clone for a second, not gonna lie. <laughs> she has like very similar. Yeah. Ten spans under, humans slept. Ten spans up, the dwarves were kept. Lizards burned in lasting flame. Elven trees towards skies did aim. Um, so essentially, she she's the only one here that actually keeps the graves anymore. Well, figured, gravekeeper Farima. Yeah, but my point is that uh, she's the only that there's a necromancer here, and uh, she's the only actual gravekeeper that's left standing. Mm. I'm guessing those two red dots I saw on the mini map are undead of some sort. I mm, that or the shriekers? I don't remember. Mm. Oh, the shriekers that we didn't leave out in the sun too long. Right with the other. I'm sorry, what? Oh, the shriekers we didn't leave out in the sun too long. <laughs> Keeping watch, tending graves. 
She ekes out a few more notes, then smiles at you with the innocence of a newborn. It helps me remember. Remember where the dead go. Sometimes they don't stay where I put them. That's okay. She flinches as you move closer. No, no touching. Her humming fades. Polk. The eerie silence lasts for seven <laughs> seconds. I just know right something now, though. Might get mad. He doesn't like it when someone <laughs> touches his things. Riker's the uh, necromancer, but that Damn smile it, she has on her little picture. Yeah, she, she looks <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. like, actually, yeah. no, she doesn't look insane. That's a fucking rape face right there. Just <laughs> <laughs> She's just staring at my character like that, like not even blinking. <laughs> yeah, just, yes, I like this one. <laughs> she looks very familiar. Clones. No, uh... I do it as I like it. Don't cause trouble. Just dig and pluck weeds and shoo the ravens. Like, no shooting the ravens away. Those were for fucking Odin, you bitch. Well, she hasn't sh I mean, shoo them away from the dwarves. Those are the ones that want their uh, entrails to be eaten. Dwarves are fucking weird. Mm-hmm. He's a powerful sorcerer. Lives here in the garden. Can take the you from you. No brain, just body. My mind isn't big, but it's still mine. Just so she's well aware that she's fucking retarded. <laughs> uh, I'm I should Riker's rephrase that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Probably. I'm guessing Riker's the next uh, source master or whatever. He's a source master, but he's also a lone wolf, and since we don't have Ethan. Uh... She points at her head. The servants. They got nothing up there. Riker has it all now. They need to be freed. Only way. Kill Riker. The servants. So lost. Chained by sorcerer Riker. But they can still go home to the hall. Set them free. The ensuing silence lasts for several seconds until she picks up the melody once again and turns away. Yeah, so... she gained bread. Skies did mm -hmm. And do you like her voice though when she's singing? Oh yeah, there's also a necromancer dog running around. <laughs> so what happens if I use this tombstone? Is it just a readout or something here lies fine uh, yep. sorry whose family's generous patronage helped build these burial grounds and who refused to be buried in the sorry crypt press f to pay respects <laughs> uh hang on i don't have an f i'm just gonna send it to the dmd chat and let everyone wonder <laughs> yes what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, hang on. <laughs> huh. Here lies Galen Heavendale, a lost soul, executed in his prime, aged 19. Hmm. What'd you make? Here lies Nothing. Galen Heavendale. A lost soul, as close to executed a in his prime, as it gets aged here. 19. A human king, arrogant but not dignified. That's pretty descriptive of human kings. <laughs> oh, I can loot the skeleton. Oh, ancient Definitely human skull, nice. Nothing more or less. Fuck off, Prince. An unknown ne'er do well. Tried to steal the wrong man's gold. We are glad to give him rest. Here lies an unknown traveler. Stopped to ask for water. Fell ill and died. We are glad to give him rest. Okay. <laughs> Here reposes an unknown alchemist, whose scars glowed after her death. She lies here, but not in darkness. We are glad to give her rest. Here lies an unknown wanderer. 
We are glad to give her rest. It, I guess feel like she walked into town and gets croaked. Long after mm -hmm. the flood. What cause did this night serve, I wonder? Don't know, but he looks like a fucking pinhead. Let me just stare at this uh, statue scratch. <laughs> Gotta get some of that old angel dong. <laughs> Very old angel dong. Secret unlocked. Secret unlocked. Oh, the Cyber Victory. So where she uh, won that battle, there we now know that uh, she that there's a weapon there. Nice. I feel like this is a little bit biased to the human. Yeah. Here lies the lizard. She was alright. That one wasn't... Ah, shit. God Wogan! You must fall. The God King demands it. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Let your blood quench our roots, so we may grow. Fuck you. Covenant shall be fulfilled. Never. <laughs> I literally just gave every one of them a reaction. Ah. Garrick's first up. Oh, he's getting the Ubi one tactics. Oh no, it's wet. Oh dearie I me, mean, he's I, probably an ice. I'm sorry. He's probably an ice mage, so yeah. Hey you, get over here! I'll put you right on top of your friend here. Holy shit! <laughs> you fucked him up. These lives shall be yours now, God Pokemon. What the fuck? Oh shit, you woke back up. <laughs> Motherfucker resurrected on us. Eric, I told you to take a dirt nap. Well, Hala resurrect. <clears throat> okay, do we have to like attack the statues or something? I'm trying to think of how you would do this. Because these guys don't have much health, but they died and came back with more oh, than they had before. That's not good. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'll go and do you a favor. Thank you kindly. And since you are undead, fuck you, Garrick. Okay. We might have to bless them or something. It looks like he's staying dead, though. So did the first one for a little bit. 
No, he rezzed okay. automatically. Oh, I'm saying he's the one that's in front of me right now, but we can try just killing them again. Yeah, it look. Yeah, because. I mean, both of those people you killed and then they immediately resurrected. So that would say that we have to kill each of them twice, I guess. It's looking that way. Kill the boneheads! Yeah, look. I... All right, yeah, they just come back once. Yeah. Hold on, let me see if they, if there's a perk name for what they have. Oh, uh, sworn. That's probably it. Uh, sworn to the God King. So that's more than likely it because they're kind of uh, God King's known for bringing people back from the dead. Yeah. That skeleton is smoking. Oh great, video came back with magic armor. Mm-hmm. No more magic armor for you. I just imagine though, if uh, these characters were just like in the middle of a battlefield uh, fighting in a war, what Beast does is that he charges around poking people. I've got a little bit of cheatsy doodles. This can really prevent someone from coming back. Hey, Garrick, yeah. you little bitch. Mm -hmm. Well, like you said, I'm fairly certain that he was completely dead. Yeah. It's just a precaution, though. And I would suggest not sticking that thing after the one that's next to me, just simply because... Uh, yeah, it's got a huge radius and deals a shitload of damage. Yeah. Well, they are undead, so uh, you can use your healing spells to harm them, if you remember. Yeah. I think, hang on, how much damage does does the ability deal? 278 to 306. Wouldn't kill Vidya, but it'd really put a hurtin' on her. And it only takes one AP, so I can get right up... Bitch! <laughs> can I get right up next to her? That doesn't look disgusting. And it was spotted from a skeleton. Why is it leaving a blood trail? Shh. Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. Excuse me. Oi! It's rude. Oi! That's even ruder. Hey, that's the height of rudeness. It's pretty fucking rude too. <laughs> you're, just, nice. you're just calling everything rude, basically. Yeah, they're being disrespectful sons of bitches. Well, two of them are just being disrespectful bitches. But Hala, he's being a disrespectful son of a bitch. That was just to get me over here. Yeah. I don't use this thing like the weapon it is. <laughs> At all. Oh yeah, you're using a spear like a battle axe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the gates appear to be warm. That oof. Seriously, why are the gates warm? Oh wow. Two magic armor left. Hey, wait. Uh, I can use uh, Soul Vampirism on Sir Laura. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hello. I could, I could just laser beam and, and, and end it all for Vidya. Or I can... Oh, I can hit... I was gonna say, you might be able to hit both of them. It appears I can. I'm fairly certain you hit the human... I mean, uh, the elf guy there right in the non-existent wing. Uh, I just... I just dinged his shin, I think. Mm. And then, what else have I got? Oh no, fire touched my shin! I'm dead! <laughs> Yeah. And I've got nothing else I can do with uh, Bratwurst. But Beast, on the other hand, has had enough of this undead bullshit. Fucking. Oh, wait, no, they're immune to bleeding. Never mind. I was gonna say, I'm dead. Bullshit. He just starts attacking your character too because he's just. He's had it with all undead. <laughs> Alright, hail strike. Oh, hail no. He's like, I don't even care if you're my friend. You're gonna die. Are these were heroes? What happened to them? And what's this covenant? An identified helmet in there. Oh, shit, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. Good this time. Hang on, I've got a coin to flip. <laughs> I dropped my coin. Hey. Try this again, shall we? Heads. They were heroes, supposedly. If they can be corrupted, maybe we can too. That sounded so fucking sarcastic. <laughs> maybe we can too. They were heroes, supposedly. Fuck you! Heroes turn villains? And what is this covenant? I mean... Seriously? Beast is Red frozen. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in the conversation, like, he can only move his mouth. Yeah. I don't know what prize was sweet enough to make him into this. <laughs> <laughs> just the impli <laughs> just the implication of it. Oh, Vidya's got an unidentified crossbow. Do they all have unidentified, uh, unidentified gear? ring? They've all got unidentified uh, gear. Unidentified one-handed sword and the ranger. Uh, Geomancer, Geomancer, and summoning on, on the elf. It's a lot better than the helmet that the Red Prince had. Alright, what's the prince got? You mean for helmet? Yeah. Right now he's wearing the one that we just got, but before it was a uh, 20 and 4. And then I've identified the sword. 23 to 26 physical, plus 3% dodging, 5% life steal. Just selling fodder. Hmm. What? I'd like to compare it to what he has. Alright. Oh hey, the... The doors have taken damage. Alright, uh, yeah, that isn't terribly great. Yeah. Then I took the crossbow from Vidya. There's a claw hammer here. Here resteth Edmund Vanelik, gallant soldier, nearly a hero. I feel like that's just an insult. As beautiful as Ruler always, if unwilling to whisk me away from this place. My lizard's openly admitted that, that he's attracted to an angel statue of a human. <laughs> Locked in perpetual prayer. Keep trying, my friend. I think his prayers aren't going very well. He appears to have a uh, okay, so few all birds the, on him. Yeah, all I can think is, Fire Shrine Guardian, that pose, it's motherfucking Solaire. Solaire of Astora. My boy. You're looking fucking whack under that helmet, boy. 
Hey, don't you disrespect Solaire like that. It said that he's a fire shrine guardian. I almost... I wonder if uh, I give him fire if he'll do anything. I've got more fire. <laughs> and I hit beast with it. Trying, my friend. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, oh man, holy fire just looks so cool. Is that fucking healing you? Yes, yeah, because it's holy fire. Oh, that's neat. It'll Too hurt bad. you though, because you're undead. Yeah. It'll it'll hurt me worse than regular fire, but that is neat. But necro fire still hurts you worse than regular fire as well. Yeah, I just. In life, we are Earth's caretakers. In death, we are the skies. Hello, oh, everybody. There's a lot of midgets around here. Oh, Featherfall. Oh, I lagged. I've got to we zoom out of here. Glorious deaths. My faith in eagles works still. They know their duty. They need me not. See my feather fall here, prime among my flock. He won't leave my body till naught remains but bleached bone. Hearts, my dear girl, no. All I feel is pride. My feather fall knows just how to slice and just what to chew. Birds don't usually chew, but okay. <laughs> he eats to free me. To free this spirit from its earthly ties. With each peck, I am closer to the Hall of Echoes. No ordinary hunger, but a trained hunger. Watch. See him separate spleen from marrow. Just so. Okay, you could just have that conversation and you just go, Well, I can eat something else. <laughs> Hey, do you mind if I eat your fucking soul? <laughs> That's actually kind of metal to think about. So why do you think I said it like that? <laughs> Pretty eyes. Eyes that see far. The eagle's own eyes glitter with avarice. Tied them on. Pretty, pretty ribbons. Match my pretty claws. Match your pretty eyes. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> peck, peck. The eagle pecks free some choice lump of gristle from deep within the corpse. He swallows it whole, dark blood dripping from his beak and matting the fluffy feathers at his throat. Master died, but Master told me what to do. All my life told me you are what you eat. So I do. I will become the master. Unless you are not the new master, are you? And if you want to be my master, you must first become the master. You are what you eat. It's disgusting, but... You get a uh, summonable by doing this. Yeah. No, oh, it's not technically cannibalism. It seems like forever. Yet <laughs> yeah, well, I... does not change in your mouth. Tough yet moist. Leathery yet slippery. It's disgusting. If the meat wasn't rotten, I'd say, well, we are technically dragons, so dragons are kind of known for eating humanoids sometimes yeah. when they're when no, they feel no, like bitch. <laughs> Sometimes you really wonder about how you make choices. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I love how the game yeah. calls you out for for everything. Yeah. Like, you know, what you just did is absolutely disgusting. The eagle hops from claw to claw, peering up at you with a berserk and bird-like excitement. See? Feel it? The power. We are an inspiration to our people. <laughs> 
<laughs> if anything, I feel weaker, but I mean, if you say it works, it works, I guess. You, you know. <laughs> sure. Or you could just... Let's just uh, let the bird have its way. But, yeah, yeah, that would be kind of funny, though. Just, like, spit it out over the edge. Yeah, just... Dude, this is unworthy of feeding a dragon. <laughs> yeah, just... Just, like, bite it oh, into, like... into, ti into s like, really tiny pieces in your mouth and then... Um, Squidward. I guess, though, if you're, like, slain, though, that was the name of the dragon on, uh... On... Fort Joy that we met. Yeah. And he just like turned into a dragon. I guess that he wouldn't really be able to be upset by you because you're kind of one of the creatures that the dwarves seem to want to eat their corpses. Yeah. Anything of the sky. Yeah. A hacking core breaks free from his ebony beak. Those little button eyes seem to twinkle in the gloom. Yes, kidney. Good for courage. Good for warrior. You will fight well. Now master's blood runs within you. Okay. <laughs> I'm imagining that Beast would probably puke at the thought. Wait, what? I I'm imagining that Beast would probably puke at the thought. Oh? I mean, yeah. A, a dwarf eating another dwarf, even if it is yeah. an ancient rotted corpse. Well, well not, not ancient. not necessarily but... ancient, but... Yeah, so just an old rotted corpse. Your shoulder and digs mm -hmm. his claws in deep. He pecks your cheek in what could charitably be called an affectionate manner. Blood drips from the wound. At least he didn't go for your eyes. <laughs> so he's got sharp claws and teeth to just pierce my scales like that. Yep. Well, not teeth, beak. Yep. Honestly, if someone said that t to me, uh, I'd probably uh, roll their corpse off the top of this tower. <laughs> yes, well, fuck you too, <laughs> shove. Yeah. But I see my dearest Featherfall now has his claws in you. I'm glad you were taken from here. For my flesh lives on in him now, and my blood will know what it is to fly. Discipline. That's all he needs. Discipline and the flesh of the recently deceased. And oh, I we'll can tell you'll that. be able to give him plenty of mm -hmm. proof. Forget not, my blood also runs within you now. I've no need of it anymore. The halls call me at last. I guess fair enough, he did just watch us, well, watch me eat yeah. part of his kidney, I guess. Yeah. At least when it comes to that shit, my character evidently picks up some of the, uh, some of what would actually be the more, uh, nutritional parts of the corpse. Oh yeah. I forgot about this. They always have the, uh, all these things have got their spirits just walking behind their bodies because they aren't in control of it. I, I really want the mask. Your hand reaches through the spirit. Your source is inert. You see no memories, siphon no emotions. Its face grows even more tortured. It is trapped. By what or by whom, you cannot say. What would happen if you drained its source? I don't think you can because its source has been claimed by someone else. said in the dialogue you can do it. I think it just tells you you can't though when you do. Mm. A 
Elemental Sorcerer, come to play. You are a sorcerer, are you not? Perhaps even Godwoken? <laughs> Tell me through now. <laughs> Okay. Silence greets your answer. In the distance, you hear the screech of an eagle. Worryingly closer, you hear some kind of a moan. Leave. The face melts back into the wood of the door. Shit, listen. <laughs> you could just... <laughs> just repeatedly do it. <laughs> 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 like, the door just get, like, just doing it for an hour, and the door gets so pissed at that point. <laughs> that it just, like, the door gets so pissed. Bissed? The fuck is this? A <laughs> shitty meme? The door gets so pissed, it just combusts. <laughs> Silence greets your answer. In the distance, you hear the screech of an eagle. Worryingly closer, you hear some kind of a- Enter. The face melts back into the wood of the door. Jeez. <laughs> I'm just fucking with him. <laughs> Jinx. Oh, wait, that's a servant. Okay. This is the lizard I was referring to. Is he the... Oh, a salamander. But why does a dragonkin leave the ancient empire? Why does a dragonkin come?